You've likely heard the phrase once in a blue moon, but do you know the origins of it? 23 ABC's Sam Hoyle takes a look at the meaning behind it and what it means tonight as we have a chance to catch a glimpse at the rare sight. If you're to look up into the night sky tonight, you might think something's wrong. The moon seems off and you'd be right tonight alongside being a super moon. It's also a blue moon, but to have all of these things come together during one occurrence is pretty rare. Don't believe me. Let's ask NASA And the next time it's going to happen is what 2037 um, and it hasn't happened for. Oh, I don't know, a number of years now, so it's not something that happens every year, every three years, every five years. So it happens a sort of, you know, on a decadal type um, time frame. Noah Pentro is an Artemis 3 project scientist for NASA, but back here for a second. Just because it is a blue moon doesn't mean the moon is actually going to be blue. Here, let me explain. The name signifies an occurrence that happens when you have two full moons within a one month span. And this is also the closest moon will be to the Earth while being a full moon this year, earning it the illustrious title of supermoon, meaning it will also appear about 15% larger than usual in the night sky. And about 30% brighter as well. And that's where maybe people might notice the, the difference. That, that difference in size can be very hard to see. You're not used to looking at the moon if you're not photographing the moon. Full moons and new moons have plenty of spiritual and cultural meanings all over the globe. But I want you to think back to a day where your main concern was, will I get a turn on the monkey bars? If you dig deep back there, you might remember your second grade teacher teaching you that the moon has the ability to affect tides. The important part when we're looking at tides is what phase the moon is in. So there's things called spring tides and there's things called neap tides. So twice a month we have stronger tides across the globe. So that's when we have full moons or completely new moons. So twice a month we have these kind of larger tidal poles because the moon and the sun are starting to work together. And while you might not have a spiritual or cultural connection to the moon, there's a human connection to it for us all. You in, in Bakersfield, California will go out tonight and look at the same moon that I'll look at. And it's the same moon that, you know, my coworkers who are in Germany right now we're looking at. It's the same moon that people all around the world look at. In Bakersfield, Sam Hoyle, 23ABC News, connecting you.